While the worst of the pandemic is in the rearview mirror, the impacts on students, especially those facing economic challenges and teachers, still lingers. But there are some students and staff beating the odds. And Bill Ramadna spoke with Austin ISC on how things are going now and how one school is winning awards for the work they're doing. Inside St. Elmo Elementary School. Principal Ben McCormack makes his rounds. Getting to know all 300 plus students is key to their success. We just use that relationship to figure out what we need to do to help every kid in their unique situation. This is important as some still feel the impacts from the pandemic when many students fell behind while working from home. We're working now on not just building the capacity in our students and addressing the gaps that were created during the pandemic. Um, we're also um, building the capacity of some of our teachers. Title I schools were hit hard. Students and families that are experiencing poverty and they're experiencing it at a larger margin. Students in these schools face challenges like language barriers, generational poverty, lack of resources, but also teacher vacancies. There are a larger number of vacancies at our lowest performing schools. And even when we do fill those positions, you will notice there's a large number of novice teachers. More than 39,000 students in Austin ISD are enrolled in schools that participate in school-wide Title I. St. Elmo is one of those schools. We are 80% plus uh, economically disadvantaged here. But that hasn't stopped them from being successful. St. Elmo was recently named a Texas Gold Ribbon School. It is uh, kids in high poverty, high need situations that are still showing growth and, and having success in terms of growth. McCormick says despite the challenges his students face and even the struggles during the pandemic, his staff makes sure his students have all the tools they need to succeed. The last state rating that we had, we were rated an A school. Bill Ramadna, KXAN News. And St. Elmo says a big part of their success is due to community partners. Groups such as Foundation Communities help students with their academics after school and offer food pantries. St. Elmo also received a grant to build a butterfly garden. Principal McCormick says the more resources, the better the outcomes for the students. Now going in depth in 2022, which is the latest data sent to us, the district as a whole graduated about 93% of its students within four years. That's an increase from 92% during the peak pandemic in 2020. Now taking a look at Title I high schools, all of the schools had a 92% or higher graduation rate, with the exception of Eastside Early College High School, which had 88%. Northeast Early College High School had over 98%. You can take a closer look at all of the rates under this story at KXAN.com.